Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo-only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. Um, I do have a Virgo and Leo-only channel. The links to the... No, a Virgo and Cancer-only channel. <laughs> this is Leo. Um, the links to those are all below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. Um, I do have a tarot tutorial. If you would like to check it out, the link is below. It's about two and a half hours long. If you would like to book a reading with me, the link is below. And if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, um, I currently have Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle that are buy one, get one free. And then we've got Royal Rose Tarot, which is currently 20% off. Okay. All right, my little lion cubs, let's see what we have here for you today. All right, spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So we've got shocking. We've got past life. We've got trapped and we've got open heart. We've got pain and heart fog. Leo, you're about to get a, a very unexpected message from somebody. And I feel that you thought you learned your lesson with this person. Um, you might be thinking that this person is karmic and you just want to get it out of your life. And I feel that when you receive this message, you're going to be shocked at how you feel when this person contacts you because you thought you were over it. And instead, this person is going to touch your heart in some way. But it's it's just going to mess you up in, in your head space, your heart space, because you're afraid of loving this person, but you can't help but love them. Like, you just can't help but love this person. Even though you're scared. You know what I'm saying? Even though you're scared. I feel like, Leo, what you're scared of the most is building a family or building a foundation with someone that is going to do nothing but cheat on you, hurt you, lie to you, um, you know, constantly have you in a state of feeling unstable and in turmoil, confused all the time. Your biggest fear here is ending up, you know, building a life with someone that's going to make your life a living hell. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're really scared of that. But at the same time, like, you know, you feel like you're stuck to this person in a way where you may be asking yourself, is this a karmic? Like, who is this person to me? Like, why can I not just why you're starting to feel suffocated or trapped or like, why can't I just energetically or emotionally disconnect from this person? I could be talking to Leos where, you know, your cutoff game is usually pretty quick. Like once you've had enough, you've had enough and you're able to walk away. But for some reason, you just can't seem to walk away from this person. And you're like, oh my God, is this going to be my whole life? Am I really going to be stuck with this person that just, you know, hurts me consistently? It's like, I, this cannot be happening, you know? Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We have the two of cups here and the five of cups. Leo, I feel like there's a very strong soul tie between you and this person. And I feel like there's a tremendous amount of love between you and this person. And with the five of cups here, even though this person has given you so many reasons to 
walk away from the connection or to leave the connection with the two of cups that love just is still there for this person you know with the page of swords and the nine of wands you know that you should be have your boundaries up you know you should say no you know you should never speak to this person again but with the knight of cups and the four of pentacles it's like as soon as this person comes back around and tells you that they love you or they apologize with the four of pentacles you realize that you haven't let them go as much as you may tell yourself that you don't want this, you may tell yourself that if they contact me, I am going to block them, that I don't want them, I have them blocked on everything. You know, it's just you realize that when you hear this person's voice again or when you see their name on your phone that you haven't let them go. You know, as much as you want to, you just can't, you know. The Six of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. This could be a past life soulmate. I'm not seeing anything karmic here just yet. It could be a past life, uh, car, uh, excuse me, it could be a past life soulmate. Because I feel like you're asking yourself, what is it about this person that I just can't release them? I feel like, you know, Leo, this has been an ongoing cycle with this person where, you know, you think it's going to work and then it doesn't, you know, five of swords and the two of swords. Next thing you know, you guys are fighting, ripping each other's eyeballs out and walking away, blocking each other. You block each other just to unblock each other, just to block each other again. You know, I, I feel like I feel like with the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, you've come to this point where like you feel that this person's immature, that they're a pathological liar, that this person has no problem lying right to your face. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know, you just can't seem to let it go no matter how much you want to. Tell me about Leo, please we've got the moon card and temperance yeah you're starting to wonder why can i not heal from this why can i not just push this person out of my life i feel like leo you're yearning to release this you want to just have your life back you want to just be mentally emotionally spiritually energetically financially disconnected from this person but it's like you're committed to it you just can't stop like I don't know. It's like as much as you just want to separate yourself, there's just something with this person where like you can't say no or you can't not pick up the phone or it's like it's just something like about this person. Tell me about Leo, please. We have the three of wands and the four of cups. Leo, you may even come to find that even if you started dating other people, it's like you're still holding on to this person. Like you might compare them to this person. It's frustrating. I see you being extremely frustrated because, you know, you, you just want to move on so badly. Ace of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Leo, I mean, they're coming back. You're not speaking to them. They're coming back. And I feel like with the Eight of Swords, it's like just mental torment right now. Because with the Judgment card here and the Ten of Swords, there is no way that you should be letting this person back into your life. It just can't be happening. Like, this just cannot be happening where, like, after everything this person has done to you, that you would still be considering taking this person back. The love that you have for this person is unconditional. And you may not have ever experienced that before in your life. With the Page of Swords and the Nine of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune, you do not, you would not admit this to anybody in the whole world. <coughs> it's between us, okay? You would not admit this to anybody, but with the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands, you would never admit this, but it makes your heart so happy when you hear from this person. 
And with the star card and the four of pentacles and the six of wands, it's like your mind is saying, Leo, there is no way that, you know, after what this person has put you through, that you're even considering talking to this person. But it's like your heart is just like, yes, they're back. They're giving me attention. Maybe this time it'll work. Maybe this time, you know, will be the time that, you know, we will come together and stay together. This is a divine soulmate. This could be a twin flame journey. You might be thinking it's karmic. I don't think so. I think that you're stuck on a very, very, very difficult twin flame journey with this person. It has been a rough road. Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups with this person. It has been a really rough road. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles here for Leo. And the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you really try to just work and take your mind off of this person. But there's always a piece of your heart that misses them there's this constant sense of nostalgia when they are not with you but at the same time there's this energy of we don't work we are not compatible we do not see eye to eye like do you see what i'm saying um you know it, it's just never like give it five weeks and we'll be five days and we'll be at each other's throats you know with the magician here and the five of swords you can go all in you you've tried doing multiple different things you know to try to prevent this from happening and you know it doesn't work with the five of swords you fight and you walk away from each other and you promise yourself with the two of swords and the page of wands and the king of swords when the, the next time they come back i am not going to pick up the phone queen of cups and the page of pentacles but you you answer you answer your heart just can't say no your heart just can't say no tell me about the seven of swords here and the queen of pentacles you know I, i'm hearing that song i love the way you lie I, you know i love the way you lie from what's her face and eminem you know you know this person lies to you but you just love them you just love them king of cups in the moon and you don't understand how how can you still love this person after everything that they've done to you why do you forgive them so quickly you cannot understand what it is about the per this person and the problem here is is that you love them unconditionally you love this person unconditionally leo I feel like all you want to do is just with the nine of pentacles and the three of pentacles, focus on work, focus on going to the gym, go out with your friends with the strength card here and the king of pentacles. You really want to hold back, but there's something about this person where you just feel committed to them, even if you're not with them. Even when you try dating other people, it's like you miss this person. Nobody is as strong as this person, tall as this person, soft as this person, curvy as this person. Their smile isn't like this person's. Their hair isn't like this person's. It's like it's you, you do. You compare. And with the hanged man, it kind of puts you off. <clears throat> it turns you off. With the Hierophant here, the Chariot, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Empress, and the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Cups, this person's coming back to tell you they want to start over. They're coming back to tell you that you are the Empress to their Emperor, very strong twin flame, Emperor, Empress, and the Four of Wands, okay, and the Wheel of Fortune. This person is telling you that you're the one, they're telling you that they're choosing you, they're telling you that they want marriage, they're telling you that they want all the stuff and things, all the stuff and things. You're sitting here feeling like you need to walk away, that that's the right thing to do, that this is never going to work, that it's just going to turn into fighting and crying and pain, and that this person's going to abandon you again and go give their time and energy to something else. You're like, I already know how this is going to end. Why am I doing this again? But the problem here is, Leo, is that your love for this person is unconditional. And you're praying to God that one of these times these promises will be real. 
they will be real. So we're going to take it into the extended <clears throat> and let's see. This person is coming back towards you to reconcile with some pretty big promises. Is it going to end the way you expect it to end? Or are you going to be pleasantly surprised? Is this person ever going to commit to you? Are you ever going to be happy? And I feel like there's a fear within you, Leo, that is this it? Am I stuck and trapped and attached to this person that's always going to be hurting me and disrupting my life and lying to me and and it, it's just like you have this fear of fearing feeling suffocated and attached to somebody that is never going to treat you right you know so let's see you know, if this person is ever going to do right by you, are you ever going to find happiness with this person? You know, what will happen when you reconcile this time? Is it going to be what you expect or is it going to be different this time? Um, the link for the extended is below. There's two links, one for Gumroad and one for my website, whichever one you feel more comfortable with, they're down there. Okay, I love you guys so much and I will see you there. Take care, my darlings.